What's up, Cancer? This is Soul and Cancer. We're going to take a look at some energy for you this upcoming week, starting November 3rd. I'm sorry, November 23rd and ending November 29th, 2020. I got a little hit of myself. Uh, the messages will be for Cancer Sun, Moon, and Cancer Rising signs. My fellow crabs, I hope all is well. I do want to wish you all a very safe and happy Thanksgiving this upcoming week. And uh, with that being said, please sit back, relax, and I hope that you enjoy your reading. All right, Cancer, this is your week ahead. And Cancer, I'm using the Everyday Enchantment Tarot to uh, deliver your messages. And without further ado, let's uh, shuffle up a little bit and see uh, what the potential energy is going to be for us um, <clears throat> this week ahead. Now, I know I just did the general love readings and uh, we were blessed to have the double lovers. So I hope that that energy as well pans out for, uh, you know, a lot of you. It's a, it's a blessing to get uh, two lovers. And that's the reason why I like to use that deck, because of that. Um, it's double the energy. All right, so we're going to start off with this shadow, as we always do here. And as before, you know, Major Arcana uh, definitely will play out. Um, if it's a minor card, it could go either way. And then, you know, what's so beautiful about this is that the chariot shows up here for you <laughs> and it's our energy. The chariot represents cancer, uh, specifically in other water energies. Uh, Capricorn, yeah. Water energies, I'm talking about Capricorn. Scorpio and Pisces, oh my gosh. Is there cancer who's dealing with a Capricorn? Maybe that's why I had a minor slip of the tongue. Chariot is about... Um, something that you're either moving towards in a positive direction or something moving towards you, Cancer, in a positive uh, direction. It means all forms of transportation. So it could be traveling. So if you are traveling, it's, you know, safe distance uh, to uh, and from, short or long distance, if it is. Uh, it could be work-related and whatnot. Uh, someone could be purchasing a car. Someone could be, um, you know, um, Someone who, you know, provides Uber and Lyft services. Um, I equate this chariot with that of the star card. Hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested. The only thing uh, that I pick up here um, is that if you were one of those cancers who like to jump in that car and, and forget about looking at the speed limit and you're, you know, God forbid that you're on the phone or you're texting or something like that, you could get a moving violation. But otherwise, this is a very positive card. It will dim down any other energies that may come up that are negative. Hopefully they, you know, we won't select any, but if it does, it, it takes that energy down a little bit. All right, so we're gonna start off with the major arcana, the chariot force. Uh, and uh, again, you're either moving towards something positive or something positive is about to move uh, towards you. Oh, now we are blessed with the higher font. Okay, so this is the <laughs> card that is uh, a part of your focus for the week, and it's about relationships, it's about teaching, it's about uh, learning, so education. Uh, this could be, um, you know, training on the job. I always pick that up. I don't know why. Training, on the job training. Um, someone could be getting married. The higher font always represents a uh, union. Uh, between two people, so someone could be getting married. Some Cancerians could be, you know, um, delving into their spiritual sides or just learning about spirituality. Um, one thing you need to know is that whatever's going on, uh, just make sure that you keep the faith and you keep the hope alive in any given situation. This could be energies that is uh, representing educators uh, because this is uh, higher learning and in institutions. Um, what else can I say about the uh, higher font? What I always say when the higher font and the judgment shows up here, Cancer, you're spiritually watched over and you're spiritually protected. So you can move confidently throughout your week, knowing that, um, you are being watched over from the other side. And, you know, if necessary, uh, they can't interfere with our, you know, our lives and, you know, because that's cracking our free will, uh, but they're there. Uh, just to let you know that they're always there uh, for you. And all you have to do is just take a moment to, um, 
you know, ask for any types of assistance or help, and um, usually it comes forward. Now, it might come forward in the, in the form of a suggestion or a synchronicity, so keep that in mind. I ain't talking about somebody visually showing up saying, yeah, you know, because you had a question, this is what I'm coming forth to. No. Pay attention to any types of synchronicities. Um, link to your question if you have any questions or concerns, and then they'll start opening up that energy so that uh, you will see or get the message and let let you know also too it is coming from them. All right, so that's that's very powerful. Uh, the higher farm represents Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. So we're starting off. The focus is on higher education, learning, on the job training, um, you know, relationships. Uh, could be marriage spirituality could be uh, I don't use religion as much because a lot of people I'm not saying that people aren't religious but I just don't I come across as being more spiritual than I um, am religious even though I was re uh, raised in a religious background but then you know you have, you get older and you start to develop your own uh, sense of um, you know you start questioning things basically and it doesn't match uh, at least for me, it doesn't match to what I was raised up with. So that could be, you know, um, if you are religious, then, you know, the religious aspect of this card or energy comes out through this card. Sorry about that. Now we have the page of coins. So somebody gets a job. And I just talked about um, on the job training. So somebody could be starting a new job and there's training involved. Now, you can see the hand there with the money. Obviously, she's paid the person who's walking the dog, so she may be a dog walker. Uh, that might be a job for somebody, but I think that there's a new job that comes through. Uh, the pages are always the start of something new or something about to begin, and it could be uh, in, you know, saving money. Uh, it could be uh, the birth of an idea of a business and so forth, whatever it is that could be coming up. Uh, for you, but I do feel that somebody gets um, somebody is starting a new job. Now that could be a part-time job, full-time job, uh, but it's some sort of work. It could also be uh, work underneath the table, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so if that is the case, that's what I'm getting. Page of uh, Pentacles represents Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Then we have the third major arcana here, Cancer, and it's the Temperance card. So you know anything that may have been thrown out. A balance for you and I think the closer that we get to um, you know December regarding the uh, love and relationships this might be part of that energy that is lingering uh, that may be lingering on or opening up as well so this temperance card represents um, not only relationships but it also represents uh, you know peace harmony uh, serenity Things that may have been out of, you know, imbalance for you come back into balance. Um, you can see the couple here. They look like they had a disagreement with their arms uh, folded and just staring at each other. The female in the background is offering, you know, some sort of peace through uh, whatever that, you know, liquid or fluid is that she has just to, you know, break the ice here and calm them down or calm the energy down. Uh, the woman also, too, is what I would uh, consider to be like Mother Nature, because this card always gives me uh, Mother Nature energy. Uh, so you might be, you know, just being out and about with your signif you know, significant other. It could be family members, friends, or whatever, enjoying God's uh, beauty, Mother Nature. All right, so Temperance is a very powerful card. Remember I said that it is a, um, you know, relationship card, but it's always about that peace harmonizing energy you know restoration it's like a stillness a quiet stillness that comes over us and it may be uh, what's needed okay for a few of us anyway nine of wands is the uh, card that is coming up here next now this was a you know this is a tricky little card here because you can see the dude he's standing there with uh, his Arm in a, a, a sling. He's walking on a crutch. Obviously, he's been in a fight. Got a black eye. And so, in expressing this energy here, <laughs> Cancer, if it could be somebody who is just walking around with crutches or need uh, walking 
uh, device uh, assistance or somebody has a problem with their uh, left arm, it may not be in the sling, but somebody might be having a problem with their left arm. Um, but this is, you know, my busy B card. So we could be finding ourselves some cancers being uh, somewhat busy this week, just doing things. Uh, it may be, you know, doing things for yourself or doing things for your family. Again, it's just also too part of the energy of Thanksgiving. So it might be that you're, you know, lining things up, doing some running around and, you know, you might be hosting, uh, you know, like a small gathering of family members or friends, or you might be uh, invited to a, a Thanksgiving dinner to other family members or friends. And it's a small gathering, whatever the situation may be, you're playing your part. You have the energy to take care of that is also part of multitasking. So not only just helping yourself, do the things that you need to do that are either scheduled or, you know, that comes up or crops up along the way and you take care of that or you're doing uh, some running around or you're energized to help other people. OK, so this is a good card. Busy B. Nine of Wands represents uh, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. Now we have the Queen of Wands. Yes, somebody could be getting married. This is a court card. It's underneath that higher font or it could be just a, a relationship that may be a cancer or two that I'm reading for is in a relationship and the person is a true fire sign and they are older than cancer. Now they don't have to be significantly, excuse me, significantly older. They could be just a year or two or whatever, but you can see her standing here. Obviously she's a conductor. She has a little band. She's very passionate about what she's doing for the females always throwing that, you know, you could be experiencing hot flashes and whatnot and, we have the fireworks in the background to uh, give me that uh, validation and support. But this is sexual energy, sexual expression, but you're focused on something, Cancer. There's something that you're focused on. It could be that you're focused on some sort of work or education, learning. Um, all things are po uh, possible here, but you're passionate about it. OK, that's a court card. Now, we could also because the temperance is a relationship card and the higher font that could still mean for some of you a uh, new development of a relationship beginning romantic platonic. And so that would be very, very nice. OK, now, definitely, because the uh, next card up here is the Ace of Cups. Oh, my gosh. The Ace of Cups is showing up here, Cancer, and it's the start of, you know, new things, especially when it comes to love. Uh, it's the renewal of energy. So maybe there's some energy that you may have been experiencing with uh, not only a romantic partnership, but it could have been a friendship. Cups represent children for me. Maybe there was something going on with your a child of cancer, uh, you know, I'm talking about a little disagreements or uh, something was not quite right. And but this is the repatching renewal, uh, begin again, uh, fresh start type of energy. Uh, Ace of uh, Cups could also uh, represent a birth of a child. Definitely uh, someone could be getting a job. And look, it's underneath the page of coins. So this Ace of Cups is about emotional happiness, satisfaction and contentment and all of that is expressed because the people who are in your life, which, you know, are your family members, your romantic partners, your children, your friendships, and so forth. Obviously, this is a swim meet. They won the prize, the trophy. So they're very happy about that. And so this is a very good card uh, to receive on an emotional level. All right. So Ace of Cups there, Cancer. Now, after that, we have the, oh, we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is the wealth card. So there's money coming in. This is hitting, you know, playing the lottery, but uh, playing responsibly, of course, because this could be, um, you know, money coming through that way. Uh, this is a little uh, scenario that resembles Christmas. So it could be that you're just, uh, oh, this might have something to do with, uh, do people even still use Christmas clubs anymore? Somebody might be pulling money out of their Christmas club the uh, gift shop for family members and we have the pets even pets are involved but this is a card of abundance it could be the absence of money cancer and you're just feeling abundantly um, happy because of the work that you um, you know that you have that could provide for your family sustain your own self pay your bills or it could be that uh, abundance uh, also too because it is involving the family uh, your relationships. 
This is a card of generosity. This is a card of stability, security, wealth, inheritances. So somebody could be getting a uh, inheritance. Still means a job, but if it is a job, it's a job that is um, paying more money. And then if it is more money, then you have more responsibilities, but you wouldn't be in that position if they didn't think that you will be able to handle it. So um, more money coming in. And this is a card of resources as well. Ten of Pentacles represents uh, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Then we finish off our reading, Cancer, with the Eight of Pentacles. So we have the Page of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. So money is coming in. So it could be money coming in from uh, expected sources or unexpected sources. It may be the unexpected source when, you know, if you're that Cancer that plays the lottery or the scratch offs or anything like that. Uh, but we're talking big money here. The eight is an even number, so it's a balancing type of energy. So you're feeling good about um, financial, you know, balance. It could be um, your work that might be involved. You're happy, you're content, you're focused. Okay, paying attention to detail. And then I feel that he's looking up because the money is laid out here. And maybe, you know, the boss or... Somebody else who is important gave them a pay raise or a bonus. So anything is possible with this Eight of Pentacles. And I like uh, this energy for us this week, Cancer. Okay, and this is what I have in terms of presentation. Cancer, whatever you choose to do this upcoming week, I encourage you to do it uh, safely. Stay strong, stay positive. Uh, Cancer, please wear those masks. If you haven't begun to wear a mask, wear one. Protect yourself, your family, as well as your community. Uh, wash your hands and social distance as you know best you can. I know the holidays are upon us, and it's you know it's kind of difficult. But a lot of people are, you know, a lot of people are um, opting out not to gather, and uh, you know, family gatherings, and um, just to, you know, play it safe. And there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, we'll feel a little weird. Um, <clears throat> but you know, it is what we have to go through until we get a handle on this uh, situation. Anyway, sending you all quite a bit of love and light your way until I talk to you next week, Cancer. Take care. Bye.